Okay, let's move on to question number 31. Which AI ethics principle lead the responsible AI requirement for transparency? Option A, explicability, support transparency by using AI decision, understandable and explainable. So might be a potential answer. Let's keep it. Moving on to option number B, prevention of harm focuses on avoiding negative outcomes, not directly tied to transparency. Not the correct choice we are looking for. Moving on to option number C, respect for human anatomy, ensure harms control over AI, but doesn't directly lead to transparency. Not the correct choice again. Moving on to option number C, fairness aims to prevent bias and discrimination, but explicability driven transparency. So again, the wrong choice. So option A is the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 32. What is what is the key feature for requirement neutral networks? Option number A. They are primarily used for image recognition tasks. Image tasks are typically handled by synonyms, not RNN. So, not a potential answer. Moving on to option number B. They do not have an internal state. RNNs rely on hidden states for retained squiggle context. So, again, wrong choice. Moving on to option number C. They have a feedback loops that allow information to persist across different time steps. RNNs use feedback loops to distance information across timestamps. So might be a potential answer. Let's keep it. Moving on to option D. They process data in parallel. RNN process data squiggle, not in parallel. So again the wrong choice. So option C will be the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 33. What is in context learning in a realm of large language model? Moving on to option, option A. Training is a model on a diverse range of tasks. Training a model is diverse task. Describe pre-training not in context learning. So not the correct choice. Moving on to option B. Teaching a model through zero shot learning. In context, learning use few short examples, not in zero shot. So wrong choice. Moving on to option number C. Providing a few examples of a target task via the input prompt. In context, learning uses examples in prompt to guide task performance. Might be a potential answer. Let's keep it. Moving on to option number D. Modifying the behavior of pre LLM permanently. In context learning does not alter models weights or behavior permanently. So wrong choice again. Option C will be the correct one. Moving on to question number 34. You are training in a deep learning model to classify images. What is the primary function of the convolutional layer? Option A to classify the input images. Classification is done by fully connected large layers, not convolutional ones. So wrong choice. Moving on to option B. To detect specific feature in input image. Convolution layers extract meaningful features from image data. So might be a potential answer. Let's keep it. Moving on to option number C. To reduce the special dimension of the input image. That's the role of a pooling layer, not a convolutional layer. So wrong choice again. Moving on to option D. To generate new images, image generation is handled by model like GANs, not standard CNNs. So wrong choice again. So option B will be the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 35. What does the fine tuning refers to in the context of OCI generative AI service? Okay, let's look into the options. Doubling the neutral network layers, fine tuning model parameters not attractive depth so wrong choice moving on to option number b adjusting the model parameter to improve accuracy fine tuning weights using new data to improve task performance so might be a potential answer let's keep it moving on to option number c upgrading the hardware of an ai cluster hardware upgrades about performance but aren't part of your fine tuning so wrong choice again moving on to option number d Encrypting the data of security reasons. 
Encryption is a security measure unrelated to model training. So again the wrong choice. So option B will be the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 36. What is the benefit of using embedding models in OCI generative AI service? Let's look into the options. Option A, they enables creating detailed graphics. Embedding models are used for representation, not image generation. So wrong choice. Moving on to option number B, they optimize the use of computational resources. Efficiency is a secondary effect, not a primary effect. So wrong choice again. Option number C, they simplify managing databases. Embedding enhance search, not database administration. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number D. They facilitated cinematic searches. Embedding enables context aware search by capturing meaning. So might be a potential answer. And option D will be the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 37, which is not a category of TTN foundational models available in the OCI generative AI services. Okay, let's look into the options. Option A, generational model. OCI includes generational models for context creation and summarization. So option A, not the correct choice. Moving on to option number B, chat models. Chat models are a cool offering for AI conversional AI. So again, the wrong choice. Moving on to option number C, translation model. Translation is not listed as a separated model category for OCI. Might be a potential answer. Let's keep it. Moving on to option number D, embedding models are used for cinematic searches and vector representation. So not a correct choice again. So option C will be the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 38. What is the key advantage of using dedicated AI cluster in an OCI generative AI? Let's look into the options. They provide faster internet connection speed. Network speed is not a primary advantage for dedicated AI clusters. So again, the wrong choice. Moving on to option number B. They allow access to unlimited database resources. Database access is unrelated to the purpose of AI cluster. Again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number C. They are free of charge for all users. Dedicated clusters require paid commitment and are not free. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number D. They provide high performance compute resource for fine tuning task. Dedicated clusters are optimized for fine tuning and hosting custom models. So this is the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 39. What would you use Oracle AI vector search for? Query data based on keywords. Traditional data based on keywords. Okay, let's move on to question number 39. What would you use Oracle AI vector search for? Option A. Query data based for keywords. Traditional search uses keyword vector goes beyond literal matches. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number B. Manage database security protocols. Security management is unrelated to vector search functionally. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number C. Store business data in cloud database. Data storage is a general database feature, not a specific to vector search. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number D. Query data based in semantics. Oracle AI vector search enables semantics query for retrieving result based on meaning. So this is the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 40. What is the primary purpose of reinforcement learning? Option number D. Identifying patterns in data. Pattern recognition is a typical of supervised or unsupervised learning. So wrong choice. Moving on to option number B, learning from outcomes to make decision. RL focus on decision making through feedback driven learning. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number C, finding relationship with the data sets. Supervised learning makes prediction from label data unlike reinforcement learning which leads from outcomes. So again the wrong choice. Okay, let's move on to question number 40. What is the primary purpose of reinforcement learning? 
ऑप्शन ए आइडेंटिफाइंग पैटर्न इन डेटा पैटर्न रिकॉग्नाइजेशन इज अ टिपिकल ऑफ सुपरवाइज और अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग सो रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर बी लर्निंग फ्रॉम आउटकम्स टू मेक डिसीजन हर एल फोकसेस ऑन डिसीजन मेकिंग थ्रू फीडबैक ड्रिवन लर्निंग सो माइट बी अ पोटेंशियल आंसर लेट्स की पैट मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर सी फाइंडिंग रिलेशनशिप विद इन डेटा सेट सुपरवाइज लर्निंग मेक प्रिडिक्शन फ्रॉम लेबल डेटा अनलाइक डी इन्फोर्समेंट लर्निंग विच इज लर्न फ्रॉम आउटकम्स सो रॉन्ग चॉइस अगेन मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर डी फाइंड रिलेशनशिप विद इन डेटा सेट्स इज टिपिकली ऑफ अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग नॉट री इन्फोर्समेंट लर्निंग सो अगेन द रॉन्ग चॉइस सो ऑप्शन बी विल बी द करेक्ट वन ओके लेट्स मूव इन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन यू आर ट्राइंग यू आर ट्रेनिंग अ डीप लर्निंग मॉडल टू प्रिडिक्ट यूजर बिहेवियर वट टाइप ऑफ डेटा इज दिस एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ओके लेट्स लुक इन टू द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए इमेज डेटा इमेज डेटा इज यूज फॉर विजुअल टास्क नॉट बिहेवियर प्रिडिक्शन अगेन द रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन बी टाइम सीरीज डेटा एज्यूम्स रेगुलर इंटरवल्स विच यूज बिहेवियर मे नॉट फॉलो सो रॉन्ग चॉइस अगेन मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर सी टेक्स डेटा अप्लाइज टू एन एल पी टास्क नॉट जनरल यूजर इंटरेक्शन मॉडलिंग सो रॉन्ग चॉइस अगेन मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर डी स्केट्यूशनल डेटा यूज बिहेवियर अनफोल्डिंग ऑफ सीक्वेंस ऑफ एक्शन ओवर टाइम सो ऑप्शन डी विल बी द करेक्ट वन विच स्टेटमेंट डिस्क्राइब द ऑप्टिमल कैरेक्टर रिकॉग्नेशन फीचर ऑफ एन ऑरिकल क्लाउड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डॉक्यूमेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके लेट्स लुक इन टू द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ही इट रिकॉग्नाइज द एक्सट्रैक्शन टेक्स फ्रॉम अ डॉक्यूमेंट ओ सी आर इज एन ओ सी आई आइडेंटिफाइज एंड डिजिटलाइज टेक्स फ्रॉम डॉक्यूमेंट इनवेजेस माइट बी अ पोटेंशियल आंसर लेट्स की पैट मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर बी इट कन्वर्ट्स ऑडियो फाइल इन टू टेक्स ऑडियो ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इज अनिलेटेड टू ओ सी आर विच वर्कस ऑन विजुअल टेक्स सो रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर सी इट हिनेंस द विजुअल क्वालिटी ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओ सी आर डज नॉट मॉडिफाइड डॉक्यूमेंट्स विजुअल इट एक्सट्रैक्ट टेक्स्टुअल कॉन्टेक्सट सो अगेन द रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर डी इट प्रोवाइड्स रियल टाइम ट्रांसलेशन टू टेक्स ट्रांसलेशन इज नॉट अ बिल्ट इन फंक्शन ऑफ ओ सी आई एंड ओ सी आर फीचर सो अगेन द रॉन्ग चॉइस सो ऑप्शन ए विल बी द करेक्ट वन ओके लेट्स लुक इन टू दॉप क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री विच केपेबिलिटी इज सपोज बाय द ऑरिकल क्लाउड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विजन सर्विसेस ओके लेट्स लुक इन टू द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए जेनेटिव रियलिस्टिक इमेजेस फ्रॉम टेक्सट दिस इज अ जेनेटिव ए आई टैग टास्क नॉट सपोर्टेड बाई ओ सी आई विजन सो रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर बी एनालाइजिंग हिस्टोरिकल डेटा फॉर अनयूजल पैटर्न एनालाइजिंग हिस्टोरिकल डेटा फॉर पैटर्न रिलेटेड टू एनोमोली डिटेक्शन नॉट इमेज बेस्ड टास्क सपोर्ट बाई ओ सी आई विजन सो अगेन द रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर सी एनल डिटेक्टिंग एंड प्रिवेंटिंग फ्रॉड इन फाइनेंशियल ट्रांसक्रिप्शन फ्रॉड डिटेक्शन इज हैंडल बाई स्पेसिफिक मॉडल्स नॉट विजन सो इन द रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन डी डिटेक्टिंग वेहीकल्स नंबर प्लेट टू इशो स्पीड सिटीजेशन विजन सपोर्ट ओ सी आर एंड ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन इनिंग लाइसेंस प्लेट रिकॉग्नाइजेशन सो दिस इज द करेक्ट वन ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर वट इज द रूल ऑफ अ सेल्फ अटेंशन मेकेनिज्म इन अ ट्रांसफॉर्म मॉडल ओके लेट्स लुक इन टू द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए इट मेमोराइज एंड रिट्रीव स्पेसिफिक वर्ड फ्रॉम पास ट्रेनिंग एग्जाम्पल्स ट्रांसफॉर्म डज नॉट रिट्रीव पास एग्जाम्पल्स दे इनफोर पैटर्न फॉर आउटपुट कॉन्टेक्सट सो अगेन द रॉन्ग चॉइस मूविंग ऑन टू ऑप्शन नंबर बी इट फोर्सेज द मॉडल to only focus on the most recent word in a sequence self attention consider all token not just last ones so again the wrong choice moving on to option c it assigns different importance to each word in a sequence based on context self attention weighs each token's relevance to the other in the sequence so might be a potential answer let's keep it moving on to option number d 
it replaces all previous deep learning techniques from text processing. Transforms are powerful but coexist with all other architectures like CNNs and RNNs. So, option D is not the correct one. So, option C will be the correct choice. Okay, let's move on to question number 45. What are the convolutional neutral network primary used for? Let's look into the option. Option A, image classification. CNN extract visual features to label image accurately. So, might be a potential answer. Let's keep it. Moving on to option B, image generation. Image generation is handled by models like GNs, not CNNs. So, this is not the correct choice. Moving on to option number C, time series prediction. Sequential models like RNN or LSTMNs are better use suited for time series. Not this one. So, option C is not the correct one. Option D, text processing. NLP tasks use transform or RNN, not CNNs as a primary architecture. So, again the wrong choice. So, option A, class image classification is the correct one. Okay, let's look into the option num question number 46. What is the difference between classification and regression in supervised mechanization learning? Okay, let's look into the options. Option A, classification and regression both predict continuous value. Classification predict categories, not continuous values. So, this is not the correct choice. Moving on to option number B. Classification predict continuous values whereas regression assign data points to category. Classification assign categories while regression not classification predict continuous values. So again the wrong choice. Moving on to option number C. Classification and regression both assign data points to categories. Regression predict numerical values not categories. Again the wrong choice. Moving on to option D. Classification assign data points to categories whereas regression predict continuous values. This option accurately reflects the distinct prediction target for each method. So option D will be the correct choice. Okay, let's look into the option question number 47. MI is developing a customer service chat box for an e-commerce website. The chat box need to be provide accurate and up to data return policies. Which change frequently she initially tries fine tuning but realize that the written policy data changes too often. Which approach should Emma use instead? Okay, let's look into option number A. Zero short prompting uses general reasoning without examples but doesn't access updated data. So, wrong choice. Moving on to option B. Prompt engineering improves data clarity but can't fetch changing context. So wrong choice again. Moving on to option number C. Reinforcement learning. Optimize behavior through feedback not suitable for dynamic knowledge updates. So wrong choice again. Moving on to option number D. Retrieval augmented generation. Enables real time access to external sources for up to date response. So option D will be the correct choice. 